In this video, we're going to create our very first web page. As you've seen before, the HTML code behind a web page consists of text only. So all we need to create a website is a text editor so that we can write some text. There are many text editors you can choose from. My favorite is brackets, but you can use Notepad or Notepad++ or if you're on a Mac, you can use Text Wrangler. It's one of the best. I really recommend you use brackets so that we're all aligned on everything we're doing and also because uh, brackets is quite interactive and you can see live changes as you're making them using the live preview. So I'm going to show you how to get brackets. So if you go to uh, Google and just uh, type brackets, so the uh, first link will take you to the uh, download page and by clicking on the download button you can download uh, brackets and install it on your computer. Once you've installed it, you can uh, open it and you will get a uh, screen similar to this. Okay. So to get started, we're going to create our course uh, folder. I'm going to create it in the desktop for uh, simplicity reasons. So I'm going to uh, call it the complete web development course. Okay, and inside this folder, I'm going to create another folder for our HTML chapter, and I'm going to call it one.html. So our first website is going to go in here. So let's go back to uh, brackets. So we're going to create a new file by going to File, New. Okay, and we're going to save it as. Okay, and then we're going to go to our desktop, go to our course folder, and save this in the HTML folder. So we're going to name it one dot hello world. Okay, so since this is a web page, we're going to need to add an extension to the file, to the file name, so that the uh, web browser can recognize that this is a website. So the extension is going to be .html, okay, as we're writing some HTML code in there, okay, and now you can save it. So if you go to our uh, folder, we can click right on the file and open it with any web browser we want. So let's open it with Google Chrome, and now you can see a blank page in there, all right? Okay, so now let's go back to uh, brackets and uh, populate the file using the same structure we have covered earlier when we were studying the Wikipedia homepage. Okay, so we're going to have a doc type and then we're going to have an HTML element and then inside the HTML element we're going to have a head element and then a body element. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So first of all, we're going to need a uh, doc type. So we're going to set it to HTML, which refers to HTML5. Make sure you've got an exc exclamation mark in there. All right. And then we're going to have our HTML elements. Okay. And then we're going to have other elements nested in the HTML elements. The first one is going to be the head element. And then we're going to have the body element. All right. So in the head, we're going to have a couple of... Uh, elements in there. So you're going to have a character set. So it's going to be a meter data for character set. And we're going to set that to UTF-8. Okay. So again, this is a self-enclosing tag. So we don't need an, a closed tag. And then we're going to have a title. And let's call this page my first web page. Okay. And now in the body. So this is what we want to show on our page. So we can write some text there, but I'm going to place the text inside a paragraph. So we'll come back later to the uh, syntax of paragraphs, but it's quite easy. I'm just going to use a P tag. Okay. And then inside the P tags, I can write any text we want. So I'm going to write hello world. Okay. So now uh, we need to save by going to file save. Otherwise you can just do control S to save. So I'm going to do that 
and now it's saved. So let's go back to the uh, web page, refresh, and we can see hello world there. Congratulations, this is your very first web page.